All right, everybody, so let's build the most insane iPhone 15 Pro Max setup for filmmaking together. First up, we will talk about all of the different things that we will use for this setup because it's not only gonna be like one setup, but I want this to be adaptable and I want this to, you know, I want it to be able to go onto my gimbal, but I also want to have a run and gun setup that I can use on the go. So before we hop into the video, in case you're new here, welcome, super excited to have you. My name is Julian. In case you're interested in making better videos, using your smartphone or you also you want to monetize the skills that you have with your content creation then definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button but without any further ado let's talk about all of the different pieces of equipment that i have on my table here so first up very obvious the iphone 15 pro max and we're gonna put that into the brandon lee signature series cage i've just recently also uploaded a full review about that in case you have not seen that it's definitely a fantastic cage that i absolutely love using besides that we will also gonna add an SSD because sometimes, and this is what I mentioned at the beginning, like this is gonna be a modular setup, but sometimes I want to get the absolute best quality somehow possible. I want to shoot in ProRes lock 60 frames per second, and that's where we're gonna use something like this. And then something that's also very important, obviously, is audio, and I'm gonna use the Rode VideoMic NTG, um, one of my favorite microphones that I absolutely love using. It does have a built-in battery. You can connect it directly with just one USB type C cable and the audio that you get is just absolutely fantastic. When shooting outside, something that's also important is an ND filter and with the Branton Lee Signature Series um, cage, there's also one coming inside of the package. And the coolest thing with that is that it's magnetic, but I'll show you that in just a minute. And then for the run and gun setup, I'm also gonna attach some handles. These are some quick release handles that also have, as you can hear, they have a built-in trigger where you can actually start and stop your recording. Quick release plate, super handy. And then if you're shooting in darker environments, you obviously also need a tiny light. It's not the biggest light, but it's definitely better than nothing. And last but not least, we also need a gimbal. You know, this is gonna be a massive setup. This is gonna be like a pretty big and substantial setup. So we're gonna need a bit of a bigger gimbal that we have not talked about on this channel before. It's a gimbal that I'm also using with the Canon R5 C, for example, and this is the DJI Ronin RS3. All right, so now that you have an overview over all of the different things that we have, I would say let's start building that rig together. So first off, we'll just take the iPhone 15 Pro Max and let's open up the lid of the Brandon Lee Signature Series. At the top right here, you just have that little lock button. Just tap that once and then the top opens up. Next up, we're just gonna slide that in. So ever so slightly. It fits perfectly fine, like all of the small rig cages, they, they are built to perfection. And then, like, let's do that one more time. Yeah, it snaps in perfectly fine. Um, yeah, now we have that inside of the cage and now we can start building up that rig. So let's start off with, with the handheld rig, I would say. So for the handheld rig, um, we need some good handles. And these are the smaller rig handles. I talked about them before. And my favorite thing about them is that they are super fast to install and they're also like super ergonomic and very nice to hold. So basically how it works, you just need to press those two knobs Aren't those beautiful sounds? And then basically just snap it in and then you're ready to go. You can use it like this. But of course, since we're building the most insane setup, we're gonna add a second handle as well. Gonna do the same thing on the other side. And now we already have our action style type of setup. Next up, since we are gonna shoot outside, we definitely need an ND filter. And with the Branton Lee Signature Series, there comes this little um, adapter that you can screw into the back here. And just one thing that I forgot to mention in the review, like this is not only a mount where you can put in this filter here, for example, but if you also have some add-on lenses, for example, from a different brand that has a different mount, then you can just swap them out and replace that with, I don't know, with so that you can use your Sandmark lenses, for example, or your Moment lenses or whatever that you have. So this is possible. And this is what I love about this setup because it's just super flexible. But for now, we're just gonna go with um, the one that comes with the Branton Lee Signature Series. You just align it and screw it in. And then this is what it looks like. So it fits perfectly fine over all of the lenses. And then the next thing that we need to do is we need to just unpack the variable ND filter also coming inside of the package with that setup. And the beautiful thing, if any one of you has been using like those screw in filters is that with this one, you don't need that because it is actually magnetical. So we have some beautiful sounds today. So let's do it one more time. 
Yeah, and it snaps in perfectly fine. It fits perfectly fine and it's also secured in there very nicely. It's not gonna go anywhere. And now you have a variable ND filter, which means like depending on how bright it is outside or also if you're filming in a studio environment as we're doing right now, you can just always get the correct exposure without having to bump up your shutter speed so you still get that natural motion blur. All right, so now that we have figured out like how we can hold this, the phone is secured and also we have the ND filter. Next up, we need some good audio. Video. I mentioned that before. This is the Rode Video NTG. And here are a couple of different quarter 20 screws and cold shoes. Basically, you just got to put that in ever so slightly. Secure it in. So after you've secured the microphone, all you got to do is connect it with the USB type C cable directly to your iPhone and you're ready to go. Turn it on, then it will light up. And then you can basically just dial in a couple more settings. But that's the audio part of that thing. And now this is a very cool setup for every running gun setup like you're going to shoot outside. You're also going to capture some very high quality audio on the go. You'll have the perfect exposure all the time. Super nice to hold, like very ergonomic and yeah, very cool setup. And now, like, for example, if we don't need the audio or we just wanted to record an interview, for example, then we could just swap that out, that audio right here, for example, with something like a wireless system. So you could be using like a DJI mic or something like this. So as I already mentioned at the beginning, this is a adaptable setup. So it's not like said and done and you have to use it like this because let's say for example I'm going to shoot some interviews outside and I don't need that microphone right here and I'm just going to take that off for now. I'm just going to put that away and I'm also going to put off the second handle right here because let's say for now I want to shoot the highest quality somehow possible so I want to use something like this which is a MagSafe SSD and this opens up the possibility for me to also record in ProRes log at 60 frames per second. So at the back here of the iPhone there are are some magnets and we just need to you know, make them align basically and it is a bit fiddly here so we need to figure that out how we can manage that but now it's working and the SSD is set up properly it's a bit fiddly so if you're planning to use that properly outside then I would probably get a better cable but this basically also a setup that is working and I'm not sure I don't think no, you cannot, uh, you cannot attach a second handle when using it like this. But yeah, this is also like another version on how you could be using that. But for now, I'm just gonna put that away again and add that microphone again because I want some high quality run and gun audio. And I also want to be recording with that gimbal. So let's check that out. And I also want to add a light. So there's one more thing that we have not added yet. And this is this light. This is pixel like LED lights. It's a small panel, like super tiny basically but it's definitely better than nothing and you can just um, attach that to your setup We're just gonna attach that like something like this. And now, for example, if you're filming um, in darker environments and you're filming an interview or something like this, then you could definitely be using it like this. Just turn it on and then you just have this nice setup. But as I said before, I just want to have this on my gimbal. And, you know, since this is a pretty heavy setup because we have, you know, a quite big of a microphone and also a light and a cage and all that kind of stuff, we do need a bigger and heavier and sturdy gimbal. So this is the DJI R. S3. Not the RS3 Pro, but the regular RS3. So let's see if it can handle that. So first up, all we need to do is take off that quick release plate right here. And then we're going to put that onto the iPhone, onto the bottom here of the iPhone. So we're just going to screw that in. That's beautiful that um, the small rig cage has so many different um, mounts. So you're not going to run out of different options. So let's see how that looks now. And now we're also going to open that up so that we can start playing around here. And then we're just going to slide that in. All right, so it slides in. Don't think you can see me now, but that's fine. And now next thing that we need to do is we need to try to find a balance for this because obviously with such a big microphone and a light, it's like very out of balance. So let's see if we can figure that out. It's still leaning a bit over to that side. So probably can't fix that because I'm already on the edge right here. It's also falling forward, but yeah, it should be looking pretty good. Basically the goal, like 
just putting it away so that you can see me. Basically the goal whenever you're balancing a gimbal is that the setup that you have basically stays in its position without falling over. So I did not manage to get that perfect. I could of course obviously put that microphone down or put that light here down but that's not the thing that I'm going for in this video. So let's just turn it on and see how this looks. Let's start calibrating the gimbal. All right, and after a quick calibration, we're pretty much ready to go. Like the gimbal is set up perfectly. As you can see, I can move it around ever so slightly and easily. And yeah, this is a hell of a setup and you can be shooting like this, like some absolutely amazing stuff. And like I said, if you wanted to swap it out with the SSD again, then you could also be doing that. So it's just a very versatile setup. And to be honest, guys, like you don't need a setup like this. And this is the most overkill setup that you're gonna see on entire YouTube. Well, at least I hope that's the most insane setup. But if you're going for that, and if you want to impress your clients, then this is going to be the setup that you're going for. And again, like I said, if you're filming with your gimbal, and if you're capturing the shots, and you you know, at some point, you're ready to film some interviews, then all you got to do is press the lock button here very quickly and just detach it here put it out, you know, put in that that grip again, maybe, you know, put that on a tripod and you're ready to go. So the versatility that you get is definitely very awesome. And in case you want to impress your clients, not only with the most insane setup, but also with your know how and you know, with the services that you're delivering, and you're planning to make this your full time living, then check out the first link down below, we have just launched our brand new smartphone agency, where we share with you step by step how we're personally making multiple six figures creating content with our smartphone and we don't even need a crazy setup like this.